the power to prosper. That's the new motto for this network, and it's a good one because prosperity really matters. Money doesn't buy happiness, but poverty pretty much prevents it. If you're constantly worried about feeding your family or freezing in the dark, you don't have much room to pursue any happiness. So people often ask, why are so many people poor? But it's the wrong question. People have always been poor. Throughout history, miserable poverty is the normal state of humanity. Most people, except for royalty, live brutal lives. They died before age 40. Billions of people still live that way. The better question is, why is anyone rich? What gives a country the power to prosper? Well, from the success of places like Hong Kong, Singapore, the United States, we now know some of the answers. Secure property rights. What's mine stays mine. What's yours is yours. An honest government that protects those rights. Limited government. Something like this. This is the Constitution. It's this small. It gives us predictable and understandable rules. I doubt that America would have prospered the way it did if our ancestors were subject to these millions of pages of regulation when we began. When government churns out all these new rules, it creates enormous uncertainty. That's part of what's wrong with today's economy. No one knows what government will do. How can you hire a new employee if you don't know what their health care will cost you or what you'll have to pay in taxes? Prosperity happens when people understand the rules of the game. Now, some people told me that America became prosperous because we had democracy and natural resources. Why is America rich? Because we have a lot of resources. More resources. Well, resources are good. So is democracy. But consider Hong Kong. Hong Kong is just a rock. They have no natural resources, really. They don't even have democracy. Yet in just 50 years, Hong Kong went from third world poor to American levels of wealth. How? The late economist Milton Friedman understood the answer. If you want to see how the free market really works, this is the place to come. Hong Kong. Today, the per capita income in Hong Kong is higher than in Canada and Australia. Did they achieve this miracle here because of Obama-like government investment and job creation? No. This miracle hasn't been achieved by government action, by someone sitting in one of those tall buildings telling people what to do. It's been achieved by allowing the market to work. Hong Kong's colonial government mostly left people alone. The British rulers did enforce rule of law. They prevented people from robbing and killing each other. But then they basically sat around and drank tea. And free people, left alone, created prosperity. Earlier I showed how easy it was for me to open a business in Hong Kong. Handing in one form was all I had to do. Thank you, sir. Took me just one day. I had a legal business here in New York City. I would have had to have all kinds of lawyers, fixers, I'll call them. It would still take weeks or months, so I didn't even try. And I definitely didn't even try when I was in India. Calcutta to start a business, you first have to go to this big building to get government permission. Even New York City's licensing rules are simple compared to this maze. You fill out form after form after form, and then you wait and wait for days or years. Well, the bureaucrats debate the merits of your application. It's all well intended, rules to make sure the food's clean, that the building's safe. But the result is that so many good ideas die, die as forms bundled and stacked on shelves, already cluttered with bundles from other people who are waiting. These are all regulations designed to make life safer and better. Absolutely, absolutely. There is nothing that does so much harm as good intentions. Good intentions, like all this, or Obamacare, or Sarbanes-Oxley financial rules passed under President Bush. They keep churning these things out, so all I can say is stop, ruling class, please stop passing all these rules. We have the power to prosper without you if you will just leave us alone.